Hello there, welcome to Dolan Bikes. My name's John and today we're going to be talking you through how to unbox and assemble your brand new Dolan Aries carbon road bike. A few things you're going to need for this build, a 5mm Allen key, 6mm Allen key, a pair of scissors and just a standard torque wrench. Step one is pretty self-explanatory, we're just going to use the scissors to cut open the box. On the other side. Now that should just lift up there. Be mindful of the staples, they can be quite sharp so don't cut yourself on them. So there we go, let's take a look inside. So now, now that your box is all opened up, you're going to notice a few things straight away. First things first, this particular Aries model is built with the Alpina one-piece carbon bar and stem model with fully internal cabling, so that, that shouldn't be adjusted to fit in the box. You saved yourself a job there. So therefore, the few things that do need atta attaching are your front wheel and the seat post and saddle, which can be located just down there next to the rear wheel. Now, you may have noticed this little thing taped to the foam on the top tube. This is your DI2 battery, because this particular Aries model is again specced with Ultegra 12 speed DI2. So I'm going to walk you through how to fit that into your seat post as well. So here we are, your DI2 battery is here, seat post is down there. First thing you're going to do is grab your seat post and pull it out from the bottom of the box. Just for this you may need to lift the back wheel up slightly just so you have easier access to the seat post. There we go. And one thing you're going to notice as well, um, is that the seat post clamp is attached and taped there to the post. Leave that there for now, we're not going to need it just yet. Pop the seat post to one side. Where well, you get your scissors and you cut away the tape that's um, around the battery. Nice and careful there. There we go. So what we're going to do now is take this into your seat post making sure you insert it into the wider end of the seat post here and put it in nice and firmly. It can be quite a tough job, but once it's in there, it should be there very securely. So there you go, there's your DI2 battery inserted into your seat post. Now that your battery is firmly lodged in your seat post, what you're going to do is take the tape off from around the clamp. There we go. Make sure that's removed. Then you pop that to one side just for a second. Because your next step is going to be to slowly feed the wires into the seat, put, seat tube. Sorry and the saddle and seat post will follow. There we go. Just to, just to a random height for now, because you're going to get your seat clamp, showing all the bits of tape have been removed. There we go, and that should just slide in its little slot there. Get your five mil Allen key, and you're going to tighten that up. Now to ensure that's secure, what we're going to do is get our torque wrench, the 5mm Al Allen socket, and ensure that's tightened to 12 newton meters maximum. There we go. So that's a seat post, nice and secure, in your frame. So there we go, now your seat post is attached. It's time for the bit we've all been waiting for, taking your bike out of the box. There we go. Right, so now that your bike is out of the box, 
what you're going to do is cut away all the bits of tape. First things first, however, for those of you who don't have a bike stand, what we suggest doing is taking this bit of foam that the forks are resting in inside the box, just popping it on the floor, putting the forks back in there, and then leaning your bike against a secure surface, something like a wall or something like that. That way your bike's not going to get damaged or scratched. So your next step is going to be to take your scissors again and cut away all the bits of tape and foam around the bike. So now that the tape has been cut away from the bike, this is what your forks are going to look like. You've got your, your through axle here, which should be already fitted into the fork there. You're going to need your 6mm Allen key to remove that and to put it back in again. But what you're also going to notice is a little red spacer between the disc brake calipers. What this is put in there for is so that the brake calipers don't squeeze together by accident whilst in transit, for example. What you're going to do to remove it is nice and easy, just unclip it like that, put it in your pocket or to one side for now. But now that that's been removed from the brake caliper, it's very important you don't squeeze the front brake lever up until the front wheel has been fitted. Now you're going to take your Allen key and take your axle out. Just unscrew that there. Nice and simple. That should just slide out once it's loose enough. So there you go. Now your forks are ready for your front wheel. So what you're going to do next is grab your front wheel out your, out your box. And what we suggest doing, now that the box is empty, is not discarding it just quite yet, just holding on to it for the time being. So what you're going to do is get your front wheel and your axle, slide the wheel in between, in between the forks, ensuring the rotor's on the correct side. There we go. Pop the axle in there, get your 6mm Allen key, start tightening it up. There you are. What you're going to do next is get your torque wrench with a 6mm Allen socket on it and tighten that up to 12 Newton meters. And there you go, your front wheel's all attached. Something else that's worth noting on this build is something I mentioned before. That being that this particular Aries model is built with the Ultega 12 speed DI2. On the new 12-speed group sets, the charging point and junction box can be located all on the rear mech. To access the charging point, you just open this little bit here, nice and simple like that, and then your charger should be able to plug in just there, just like this. There we go. A solid blue light should show when it's charging. When it's fully charged, it should be a steady green. When you get your new DI2 bike, it should be fully charged for you, ready to go. The charger just plugs into any standard uh, plug adapter into the wall, like it would with a phone charger. We do not suggest plugging it into a laptop or PC, that will not charge your battery. We only recommend plugging it into a proper or designated wall socket. So, Dolan Aries road bike is nearly ready to ride. However, nearly ready to ride because there's quite a key aspect of riding a bike that's still missing from this particular build, that being pedals. Today, I'm gonna to be fitting a nice shiny new set of pedals to our Dolan road bike. For this, you're gonna need a bit of grease and <clears throat> most pedals will need an eight mil Allen key, but the ones I'm fitting today are going to need a six. So it's worth just checking which one they need before you start. So what it's worth doing is just getting a little brush, an old paintbrush or something, and making sure, just dab it in your grease, and then making sure that you just gently coat the threads of your pedals, just like that. And on the second one, just like that. This is just so the pedals don't seize in the crank holes for when you come to remove them in the future. So what we're gonna do, starting with the with the one nearest to us. I'm going to thread the Allen key through the hole there, make sure it's connected to the pedal, and start twisting. There we go. There we go, that one's nice and tight. 
Now we're going to spin the cranks around. So we can have access to either the crank hole. It's very important not to cross thread the pedals as well because they do tighten in different directions. And there we go. The pedal's nice and tight and ready for riding. So there you go, your Dolan Aries carbon road bike is all ready to ride. If you have any questions regarding the Aries, you can find the link to it in the description down below and that'll take you directly to our website. If you need any further information than that, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us by email or phone and we will do our best to assist you in any way we can. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoy riding your new bike.